Sober elevation is the um, rotation of a roadway uh, on the approach uh, to and through a vertical uh, uh, curve. Uh, the rotation is intended to assist the driver by, you know, counteracting to the lateral acceleration produced when you move or drive along along a curve uh, horizontally. Um, and you can add sober elevation data uh, using Civil 3D, and that's what. I'll be showing uh, in this tutorial. First, I would select, uh, let's say, this alignment. So from the uh, new ribbon called alignment, which is for modification of that alignment, I will go to the modify panel, uh, alignment properties, expand it, then select alignment properties. Now, just select, go and select the design criteria tab, and it will show you all the design criteria in that tab and make sure that there is design speeds defined there as we can see three different speeds and checked in uh, or selected to use criteria based design and the design criteria file defined as well uh, also uh, the default criteria as you can see in that little table uh, linked to sort of a standard like ashto or it can be changed to any standard that aligns with your country. Um, and then uh, there is a possibility that you can uh, use design check uh, uh, set um, and select uh, that as basic or keep it as it is. But what I'll do, I'll, I'll check out this one and keep the default as it is and select Council. So the purpose of this is just to make sure there is design criteria selected. Council now. Now, again, from the alignment uh, modification uh, uh, ribbon, I will go and select uh, from modify panel super elevation. If I expand this and select the first option, calculate edit super elevations. The software. Uh, informs you that the alignment does not contain sober elevation data at the moment and what would you like to do so calculate sober elevations now or open the sober elevation curve manager i will select the first option the first thing you will be prompt uh, to is the road uh, way type and you've got four types um, the selected type is undivided crowned and for that option, you've got to select a pivot method. So I'll keep this uh, as center uh, baseline, uh, but you have other uh, options. For example, if you have dual carriageway or you have median or center reservation in the middle, you could select the different type based on your design. So I'll leave it as uh, this option and click next. The next uh, definition you need is lanes. And in here, you got to define how many lanes uh, you have and also the lane width and lane slope. Um, so in this case, uh, it is selected to be symmetric roadway. And so both sides, the left and right uh, are symmetrical. So it grayed out the uh, left side and you can provide input just to the right side and whatever input we provide here it will be copied to the other side because they are symmetric so i will keep this as 12 feet and the slope to be minus two and the number of lanes uh, uh, is one then next the next step is to define the shoulder control uh, parameters and because we don't have a median, uh, it's undivided carriageway uh, or single carriageway uh, by the British uh, terms. Um, so inside median shoulders is grayed out because it's not applicable in that section. So the outside edge shoulders, uh, the calculate is selected. You can change uh, the width of the shoulder if you want, uh, currently defined as five feet feet and for the shoulder slope to be minus uh, 5%. I will keep all the default values as is and go to the next step. The next uh, parameters is related to attainment 
and in the attainment you've got to design the criteria file remember this is should be aligned with uh, the same design criteria for the alignment itself the super elevation rate table which is picked again from the standard transition length table uh, and attainment uh, method i will keep everything here or and the default values as it is uh, as being picked up from the alignment design criteria and i will only just select that option to automatically resolve uh, overlap and then click finish now as you can see uh, very quickly uh, the calculation has been done and then you've got that table that shows the sober elevation data and all the results and it can be changed by clicking on any cell and just change the value um, it's in a tabular format in a table but i'm not interested in this i want a view for the sober elevation so i'll close this table now uh, keep this alignment selected again from the alignment uh, rib ribbon I will go to sober elevation expand the options there you can select uh, view tabular editor the one that we closed just recently uh, or you can create sober elevation view which is uh, the one that I want to create so I'll click on this one then you will get the create sober elevation view and starting with defining the sober elevation view name, I will change that name uh, to uh, to have RD2, uh, which indicates what which alignment it has that sober elevation, and then just provide the word sober elevation. You can go and uh, change the uh, sober elevation view style. Uh, but I will keep it as basic. You can also go and create one or edit the current one if you want. So now I will keep the station range uh, data as it is, but I'll jump to the to specify sober elevation display options. And this is really important for the view and make it easy how to read the sober elevation view. For the lift outside lane, I will change that color. Um, let's say to the uh, right outside lane i want that double click on the color and then i will select for example this as green for the left outside shoulder um, again double click on the color and i will select magenta for the right outside shoulder i will change that to um let's say yellow uh, or blue so just to make it visible in the screen and then i will select ok it asks me to select sober elevation view origin where it will create the sober elevation view so i'll click here as we can see now we have the sober elevation view showing all the data uh, that was shown in in the super elevation table now i will click escape from the keyboard just to deselect the alignment and if you want to change the properties of that super elevation you can easily just click on it right click and then select uh, super elevation view properties it will prompt you with the super elevation view properties go to lanes and you can see that you can change the colors again for the different lanes uh, shown in the view i will say cancel you can actually edit the uh, super elevation uh, data even from the super elevation view uh, to do that i will just zoom in to the right side of the super elevation view and just hover the mouse over this area it will show you the reason of having exclamation marks um, design checks violation rate of change of cross slope is larger uh, than six percent per 100 feet so based on the design criteria it is it's providing a violation of the design uh, for example i will do a change now in the super elevation to fix 
the design violation happened here so i'll click on that point which shows the 3.7 percent uh, slope and we'll change that value to three so just type from the keyboard three and press enter now if i do uh, deselect or escape from the keyboard to look at the view i can see the cn uh, um, line is changed but still there is a small change happened in uh, this one so it's not matching to three percent uh, for the blue line so i'll click again and uh, make it uh, using the snip to match the cn uh, line as well so click by the mouse and now you can see both lines the uh, sorry the green color and the blue color are matching at that point so both of them uh, are in in that station having a slope of three percent similarly uh, because i have a still have a violation for the cn line i will select that point and change its position by reducing the slope to minus 3.4 percent so uh, now i will zoom out just to show the full view and uh, will uh, press escape in the keyboard just to deselect so in summary that we can use civil 3d to uh, you know add or create uh, and edit um, sober elevation data uh, of an alignment thank you for watching and hopefully see you in in the next video